Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 14th, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA Thoughts for the Day, Selfishness. Selfishness, self-centeredness, that, we think, is the root of our troubles. Driven by a hundred forms of fear, self-delusion, self-seeking, and self-pity, we step on the toes of our fellows and they retaliate. Sometimes they hurt us, seemingly without provocation, but we invariably find that at some time in the past we have made decisions based on self, which later placed us in a position to be hurt. So our troubles, we think, are basically of our own making. Alcox Anonymous, page 62. Thought to consider, spirituality is the ability to get our minds off ourselves. Acronyms, but, being unconvinced, totally. Just for today, health from the family afterward. A body badly burned by alcohol does not often recover overnight, nor do twisted thinking and depression vanish in a twinkling. We're convinced that a spiritual mode of living is a most powerful health restorative. We, who have recovered from serious drinking, are miracles of mental health. Hardly one of our crowd now shows any mark of dissipation. But this does not mean that we disregard human health measures. God has abundantly supplied this world with fine doctors, psychologists, and practitioners of various kinds. Do not hesitate to take your health problems to such persons. Alcox Anonymous, page 133. Daily Reflections The Number One Offender Resentment is the number one offender. It destroys more alcoholics than anything else. From it stem all forms of spiritual disease. For we have been not only mentally and physically ill, we've been spiritually sick. Alcox Anonymous, page 64. As I look at myself practicing the fourth step, it is easy to gloss over the wrong that I have done, because I can easily see it as a question of getting even for a wrong done to me. If I continue to relieve my old hurt, it is a resentment and resentment bars the sunlight from my soul. If I continue to relive hurts and hates, I will hurt and hate myself. After years in the dark of resentments, I have found the sunlight. I must let go of resentments. I cannot afford them. As Bill sees it, our new employer. We had a new employer. Being all-powerful, he provided what we needed. If we kept close to him and performed his work well, Established on such a footing, we became less and less interested in ourselves, our little plans and designs. More and more, we became interested in seeing what we could contribute to life. As we felt new power flow in, as we enjoyed peace of mind, as we discovered we could face life successfully, as we became conscious of His presence, we began to lose our fear of today, tomorrow, or the hereafter. We were reborn. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 63. Big Book Quote So our troubles, we think, are basically of our own making. They arise out of ourselves, and the alcoholic is an extreme example of self-will run riot, though he usually doesn't think so. Alcoholics Anonymous, How It Works, page 62. 24 Hours a Day AA Thought for the Day a police captain once told about certain cases he had come across in his police work. The cause of the tragedy in each case was drunkenness. He told his audience about a man who got into an argument with his wife while he was drunk and beat her to death. Then he went out and drank some more. The police captain also told about a woman who got too near the edge of an old quarry hole when she was drunk and fell 150 feet to her death. When I read or hear these stories, do I think about our motto, but for the grace of God? Meditation for the day. 
I must keep balance by keeping spiritual things at the center of my life. God will give me this poise and balance if I pray for it. This poise will give me power in dealing with the lives of others. This balance will manifest itself more and more in my own life. I should keep material things in their proper place and keep spiritual things at the center of my life. Then I will be at peace amid the distractions of everyday living. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may dwell with God at the center of my life. I pray that I may keep that inner peace at the center of my being. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.